is vital to health, you know, and it's only found in animals that plants don't have cholesterol, which is interesting. It's an animal-based essential molecule, and it's really what gives us, I think, a brain, and it gives us mobility. It's essential for the muscles in the brain in particular. Well, and I think immune system, too. I think that there's a yes, lot of... Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And the sulfate as well for the immune system. And I think that's one of the reasons how gly why glyphosate derails the innate immune system is because it disrupts heparin sulfate. I, well, I write a lot about heparin sulfate in my book. Very, very interesting molecule that lines all the blood vessels and um, makes the blood healthy. And the sulfation, the degree of sulfation of the heparin sulfate has a tremendous uh, influence on what happens in the blood. So you need to have a lot of sulfate to make the blood healthy. And that's also involved in the metabolism of a, a broken molecule. So when molecules get damaged by, by sugar or by oxygen, they need to be removed and degraded and then re turned into something useful that can start over again, building blocks, you know. And this happens in the lysosomes, and the lysosomes depend upon heparin sulfate for that to work. So when the heparin sulfate is deficient, you, you, it's hard for the cells to recycle debris. So the debris piles up. And something like amyloid beta is a really big debris molecule that you want to get rid of in Alzheimer's. And if you can't, it's because you don't have enough sulfate, you're going to get Alzheimer's. Arteries. Yes, and it's so interesting because it gets glycated and, and, and oxidized because of this uh, in, inability to supply enough sulfate. Um, the, you need the, um, the reactive oxygen species to make the sulfate, and they damage the LDL. And the LDL can be packaged up inside an LDL particle safely if there's enough sulfate to surround it. So you actually put cholesterol sulfate is in the membrane of the LDL particle, and the sulfate makes the gelled water around it. And the gelled water is like a shield that keeps glycation damage away. So the LDL particle becomes healthy if it's got enough sulfate, enough cholesterol sulfate in particular, in its membrane. The cholesterol sulfate goes into the membrane, puts the sulfate out into the water, into the blood, and it makes this nice gelled water sealed shield that's fields. called exclusion zone, exclusion zone water, because nothing can get in. And that's beautiful because then you can't get the damage. It's, it's safe. So yeah, without little, the sulfate, it's not sulfate. safe. It gets oxidized, it gets glycated, it gets damaged, it goes into the artery wall to cause heart disease. And that's because of insufficient sulfate. I think sulfate deficiency is a primary driver behind heart disease. Getting sun without Getting sunscreen. Sun. Yep, without sunscreen, without sunglasses, because you can help your brain, sulfate supply in your brain by uh, having sun exposure to your eyes. I think it's very important. And I was outside a lot, and I got a lot of sun in the spring, you know, and I got a tan. By the time the summer sun came along, I, the tan protected me. I mean, a tan is a really good protection against burning. But you never get a tan if you're always wearing sunscreen. So the minute you forgot your sunscreen, you're in trouble, right? You're on the boat. It's the bright sun. You have no sunscreen. And you've been protecting yourself all the while, so your skin is white. Now you're in really big trouble. But you need to just build up your own resistance uh, during the periods when the sun isn't as strong so you can handle the summer sun. And I'm not saying go out and burn yourself, of course, but just to get, um, you know, certainly if you take a walk in the morning in the bright sunlight for, for an hour or 45 minutes, so that's a good start, you know.